30 right on the nose, and I'd like to call this special meeting of the Onset Fire District to autumn. And at this point, I'd ask everyone to stand to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before we get the meeting started, uh, Massachusetts state law does require the does uh, uh, re require, but also they allow the taping or recording of these meetings. Uh, the official recorder for this meeting is Melissa Goodell for the district. Uh, there anybody else here in the audience who will be recording the proceedings of this meeting this evening? Will you please rise, please, and give your name and address. Sure, Lisa Morales on 13th Street, Nonsense. Okay, thank you. Is there anybody else who will be recording the proceedings of this meeting? Okay, seeing none. Uh, the week before Christmas, I'd like to welcome everybody who uh, uh, choose to come tonight because it's important, and of course, this meeting would not have been held if it was not deemed necessary for us to move forward, and we'll hear that in the course of the meeting. Uh, as we discuss these articles, as I always do, I ask you, to be cognizant of other people's opinions, listen carefully, and if you would please address any question that you have through the moderator, if you're directing them to any person here, or if you're going to be debating an issue, you must seek the uh, recognition of the moderator before you do. I know in the past this has worked very well, and I know that everybody here in the few years that I've been doing this have treated everybody with the respect and dignity that they deserve. Okay, having said that, we'll move on to uh, uh, Mary, you're going to read the, the warrant. Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Plymouth County, in the name of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you are hereby directed to notify and warn the inhabitants of the Ontario District qualifying to vote in the district affairs to meet at the Dudley L. Brown Post, BFW, Onset, Massachusetts, on Monday evening, December 17th, 2018, at 7.30 p.m. to act on the following article. You are hereby directed to serve this warrant by posting attested copies of the same in two public places seven days at least before the time of said meeting, given under our hands at onset the sixth day of December in the year 2018, Prudential Committee, Pamela Pike Chair, Charles Kruber, Clerk, Mary McCord, Clerk Treasurer. Thank you, Mary. And I would just at this point like to say that our rules and regulations require that a quorum for this meeting is 20, 25 registered voters, and I believe we have, am I 35? 30. 30. Melissa? 30. We have 30 registered voters in the audience, so we have a sufficient number of voters to conduct business. Okay, Article 1 is before us. Uh, Article 1, Prudential Committee. Article Mr. 1. I move that the district vote to rescind the transfer of $75,000 from free cash made under Article 7 of the warrant for the May 21st, 2018 annual district meeting with regard to a new account water department generator for the purchase of a new generator for well number four or act anything thereon or thereunto. Is there a second of the motion? <coughs> okay. okay. It has been seconded. Thank you. Uh, everybody heard the article. I'm not going, I'm not going to read it again. We now get to the point of discussion. Uh, members of the Prudential Committee, you, first of all, your motion, you have any comments? The only thing I would like to say about this is the um, district voted to appropriate $75,000 last May for the purchase of a new gener a generator for the well. The way the article was written, it didn't include the installation and the um, uh, fuel source hook up to the generator. So we're rescinding this article to reappropriate it with the proper wording to include the installation labor and purchase of the generator. Thank you. Any other, any discussion? Any questions or any discussion? Yes, lady in the back, you please rise and identify yourself. Linda Chow. 
I just have and a then Linda, uh, I'm sorry? What's your name? Linda Sharp. Okay, thank you, Linda. And a trivial question. Did you say Article 11 oh, or 7? It's Article 11. Uh, Article 11. Article, you said 7. Oh, did I? 7 11, I messed it up. Okay, <laughs> all right, thank you. Are there any other questions or discussion on Article 1? So your vote will come on Article 1, which is to rescind the action of the May 21st, 2018 annual district meeting with regard to a new account water department generator. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? It is unanimous. Article 2 is before you. Thank you, Commissioner. Mr. Moderator, are you hear me? Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, I move that the district vote to transfer from free cash the sum of $75,000 into a new account water department generator for the purchase of a new generator for well number four, including all other equipment related to the generator or act anything there on the Okay, so I can copy the uh, document. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, any comments other than what's stated under Article 1? I think we heard the rationale given under Article 1. Uh, the motion has been made. Has it been seconded? Okay. Okay. Uh, any questions or discussion on Article 2? <coughs> Seeing that, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? It is unanimous. <coughs> Article 3 before you. I move that the district vote to transfer the income from the two solar off site solar facility option and lease agreements with the 978 Solar Development LLC executed, executed March 25, 2015, as subsequently amended and assigned by the leasee located at 15 Sanborn Road, Onset, Massachusetts, as follows. 75% of past and future lease payment shall be credited to Onset Water Department's future standpipe account, number 6006-5545, to be used for the construction and rehabilitation of the Onset Water Department's existing storage tower. And 25% of past and future lease payments credited to other post employee other post employee benefits trust fund or OPEP as designed as de defined in governmental accounting standards boards 74 and 75 for the purpose of funding future financial obligations of the district for health insurance benefits to re of retirees the district treasurer shall be the custodian of the OPEP Trust fund or act anything thereon or thereon to. Okay. You have a motion before you. Is there a second? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Motion has been made and seconded on Article 3. Uh, Mr. Kowski, do you have anything to say regarding Article 3? The 75% for the water tower is. Obvious, we need a new water tower, and the 25% is a uh, government mandated uh, improvement to uh, the OPEP fund. And uh, I'll refer the rest of the comments to uh, Mary McCoy, Bush Treasurer. Mayor? Uh, currently, the uh, proceeds from the solar farm as of today is $155,808. And the way it stands right now, 75% of that going to the standpipe would be $117,000 and $38,800 going to their other post employment benefits. The water department has a liability currently of $847,000, which they have not contributed. The district has contributed for the last four or five years and the balance for the district is roughly about 800000 And if we continue with the district with a $50,000 appropriation or free cash move over, the district's obligation would be 
uh, 50,000 for the next 20 years with an average rate of 7%. So in another 20 years, we'll be fully funded on our liability side for um, future borrowing and on the um, financials that we have to do every year. Any other discussion? Gentleman in the back, please identify yourself. Money, Jerry. Bayview Park, which is right over there. Uh, it says in here, future standpipe account, and then the next line down, it says existing water storage tower. What's the deal? I know you want to build a new tank, but what are you going to construct and rehab of the existing tank? 